Hello folks, um, in this video I wanted to introduce our new lookup element. Um, so first I'm going to go over kind of what this new element looks like and then we'll go over the configuration of it. Um, so first and foremost, once you open up your new lookup element that you configure, you're going to immediately see that you can see multiple columns here. So before all you would, you'd basically select one column and then it would look up based upon that column. Now you're able to see multiple columns on the screen here. Um, so again, there's, there's five up to five columns max that you can choose with a minimum of one. Um, you're able to go ahead here and you know, search for whatever you like. When you search, it'll actually search this entire list. So for example, if I just wanted to find Vipe, it'll, uh, it'll dwindle down my search to just that. Now what you can do is you can hit the eye icon here. And um, when you hit that icon, it's actually gonna bring up the details of the record. Um, you may, if, it's, if it's a long address or a paragraph here you have, you may not be able to see that. Um, it is only gonna show the display columns. So then from here you can go hit select or just you know just tap on the row above here and that'll actually you know execute the lookup. So then um, it's gonna make other fields available for lookup, such as a photo here. So in this case, we're you know looking up details about the site and then showing a photo of that, that site um, and a few other details. So all the the uh, the fields that are inside of this record will be accessible. So you may have 20 or 30 fields in your lookup table, but you're showing five here, so they will still be accessible. Um, you know, as, as they were before. Um, and you can go through and, and fill out the rest of the form there. So we believe this opens, you know, a lot, new, a lot of new, uh, new workflows for folks, such as just viewing data um, inside the system here in a better way than just, you know, just one row, um, such as, you know, contact lists, uh, job site details, maybe a list of open or closed inspections. Um, in the future, we actually want to bring filtering and, and sorting capabilities to this. So maybe you can sort by um, a work order that's, that's coming up um, by date or something like that. So um, that's the new lookup element. Let's hop over onto the server side and see how this is set up. Um, so you're gonna see a new option here called lookup. So I've simply selected that and gave it a, uh, a label and a name. And then down here, it's gonna be very, very similar to how you sent, assigned a uh, smart table search before. Simply hit assign, search for your form. So I'll choose my, my form job site database. And then from here, you basically just tick the columns you want to use um, in the order you want to use them. So the order is going to appear right here. Um, and this order is going to match you know, what's, what's on the device side. And then simply hit Assign. And then you'll be ready to use this. Um, now, we do have some specific attributes here you can use. Um, there's two we're working on right now. One is limit. Um, maybe you only want to show uh, five, row, five rows in the table. So that'll actually limit what is shown um, on the device here in, in this view. Um, so, you know, these are optional attributes. Some, some folks may not use them. It may make sense in, in certain use cases. Um, another one here is read-only. Um, read-only is pretty important if you want to use it as, um, you know, just a read-only field where they, you can't go ahead and select anything in it. So um, if we move over to your device, the read-only would not let you select this row and, and use it. You can just simply open up the element, view data in it, and, uh, and that's the extent. So that may make sense for things where you, know, you don't want them to use that data in the form. You may only want it as a you know, contact list or some, some sort of reference information. Um, so once that's set up, then you're, you're good to go. Um, I did set up one lookup field, and I want to go over how this works because this is one change from uh, how this worked before. So basically before, you'd actually, um, you know, to reference lookup columns, you'd actually take the table name here, and you would actually say, um, something like this, right? Job site database dot your column name. Now, there, the one big difference here is that we are actually using the data column name here, not the lookup table name, but the data column name here. Um, and then that is going to uh, you know, make that, that JavaScript variable available. So in this case, we would use site lookup, which is our, our column name here. So this actually opens up an avenue for you to have more than one lookup table on the form um, of the, even of the same table. So there's a couple use cases out there where folks want to do that. Um, but it's very similar to our barcode scanning widgets in that way. Um, so stay tuned, this will be available in beta here, uh, here shortly on the Android side and then coming to uh, iOS and web forms shortly after.